Hello and welcome. Welcome to my channel. If you remember, I did a triage session on eight of these Milwaukee batteries. We're on to battery number two. And if you had been watching, you will know that the middle bank of cells has gone in this one. For those who haven't seen that video, I'm going to show you 3.61. 3.61, 3. Point, that's nothing, we're getting minus 0. 0.63 there, so we're showing a minus voltage, so that's where we're, our bad bank of cells is in the middle there, that's pulling down the overall voltage of the whole unit, you know, um, so we've got to replace them, so through the magic of fate and luck, would have it we have two cells that are sitting exactly where we need them in the voltage that means if we get these on there'll be no need to balance the pack because it will be balanced already so without further ado we'll get these metal ones out and we'll get the two replacement ones in something that's controversial in my channel i use a dremel sometimes to cut the cells out of these things i'm not recommending you try this at home I'm actually recommend that you don't, but that's what I'm going to do anyway. This is so dangerous um, because if I accidentally cut a cell, it could go on fire and explode in my face. But as the saying goes, one of the good day young. I need to get these out. Bend that back a little bit. Yep. As you can see, these are the same class of cells, A and R, 18650, 25-hour cells, so be a direct replacement. And i got to get this rubber thing out of the centre, then for the recycling bin, it's straight in there. Um, that rubber butt goes in between. It's a nice feature in a Milwaukee battery that they have that, it's very, very well packed with the cells, you know, being close together but not touching, which is important, and having that rubber thing, it's like an anti-shock thing, I like it, I just like the design, you know, um, here we go, so we've got to prepare these cells for reinstallation, and I have a process for that also, again it involves a friend of Dremel, so here we go, Trying to get this bit of this nickel strip picked off first. Well, the Dremel will take it off. Yeah, and these as well.
I'm doing this to uh, make it easier for me to spot weld them into the pack. A clean surface is easier spot welded. These are ring insulators and these are an extra bit of protection. They stop the positive part of the top of the cell connecting with the negative part of the top of the cell. You see, I really forgot the rubber bumper that I was so excited about a while ago. Here we go. Doesn't look bad, you know it all. Oh, don't want to do that. <laughs> Just trying to get this to go back over. Little, little thing that holds it in place. It's proven difficult. There we are. Do it that way. Cut that bit off. There we are, they're ready for reattaching to the pack now. I'm going to do this using a spot welder, maybe a slight bit of solder than that. This is where the spot welder comes on to play now. We'll set her up to 30. Give her a good blast, will we? Aye, 30. There we are. I think I'll throw my butt off this one, this one's a bit long. That's better. So we'll get the solder and iron into play now. I use this nice little Milwaukee one. What can I say? I like it. 
a little bit of flux you know there we are there we are Soldering around cells is very much frowned upon. Um, I try not to solder directly onto the cell, not put too much heat in. It's just a matter of getting it done, um, getting this connected. It's more spot welding you would do around cells um, because much, much safer. That's a good job there. And we've got to repeat the process over here now. Same again. Went too long again with that one. There we are. There we are. That's the spot welding done. And again, a little bit with the, the flux and the soldering iron. This battery should be back to a fully charging, fun fully functioning battery. All's connected, so it's just a matter of throwing it into the box, putting it together, and we'll have a chargeable battery. There we are. Showing the charge. We'll have to leave that on for a wee while. You see if it takes a full charge, see what the maximum charge reaches us, and we'll try it in the tool then. Right, so we've got a flashing green light there now. I'm going to remove this from the charger, do a quick voltage check, and we've got 20.2 volts, which is full capacity for that battery. That's full achievable voltage for DeWalt. 18 volt battery so I'm very happy with that and to finish the test we'll probably have to slam her onto a, a drill so that's battery number two sorted we have battery number three here but it is the same repair so I'm not going to film that I'm going to move on to battery four for the next video so if you like that video please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos